Logan. Check it out. We're going ahead. We're picking up the snake tonight. Hopefully we don't get any people giving us a hard time. They should want to give up the cobra in theory, you know. One hour later. Where is my cobra? Where is my cobra? Where is my cobra? Me and Robert have been driving around for like 30, 40 minutes trying to find this. I don't know where the cobra's at. Now this isn't very inconspicuous. There's cobras literally all over the box. <laughs> when I told the girl it was a cobra, she really didn't care. So, I mean, whatever. Palm Beach International is awesome. <laughs> After 45 minutes of running around this airport being told, go over there, go over there, go around the gas station, go over here. We finally got the snake. If you clicked on this video, you already know it's about this snake. Snakes on the plane, me unboxing snakes. So we're gonna head to the house and unbox this guy. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready to leave this airport. What about you, Robert? Ready to go. We're with the real snake review of the day, buddy. And as you guys can see, this thing got shipped an entire wooden box, double bag, and it has these tie straps all over. And you can see this guy actually used screws to drill this box shut. So this box is safe and secure for transporting. Move the new property plans over here. Pop this guy in there. And always, always love to keep my snake safe. So what we gotta do, we gotta buckle this bad boy in for the ride home. We'll see you when we get there. All right, let me just take my personal information off of there. Put it down, let's get straight into it guys. So we're here at my snake room. We have the, I don't know if I can say what it is yet. We have my cobra, you guys don't know what species, but we have my cobra, check this out. We've got these markings all around. Oh, 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 don't, 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 don't call me or him, don't call me or him. Oh, don't you look at the same. All right, just don't look, all right. All right, so what we gotta do, when these boxes come in, they're completely snake proof. So what we gotta do is we gotta undrill each hole. We got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little holes. So let's do that right now. All right, and we'll throw those under Robert's tire later. Yeah, no, oh, these puppies are on tight. All right, so don't mind any of these broken rugged tools. We had a pretty tough time getting this out. We're bleeding a little bit, but it's okay. I've said this over and over and over. When you're unboxing a venomous snake, you wanna be very, very careful. Now this guy, it only looks like he is bad. Oh, no, it does look like he is in a deli cup as well. All right, I can see this is in a deli cup, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this. Ooh, doggy. Another unboxing video. The last unboxing video did great. This one, I don't care if it's gonna do great because guess what, this snake is great, all right? Now this thing was definitely safe and secure. In a screwed wooden box with straps, with bags, with deli cups. There's no way that this snake is getting out of here. Woo, he tested. And if you guys see blood on the bag, don't worry, that's from my thumb. That is not from the snake. And okay, we got some gifts. And United States of America, Cobra Bill. It's my kind of money, son. <laughs> this is my kind of money. This is awesome. And we got some paperwork and the import permit as well. Now when you're shipping snakes into the state of Florida, doesn't matter what kind of animal if it is, if you need a license, you need an import permit as well. Now he did tell me that this snake is going through shed. Now it doesn't look like he shed it off that skin. So you guys are actually gonna be seeing the ugliest version of this guy right now. But once he gets that skin off, he's gonna be absolutely whoo, beautiful. Check this out. This right here is a pastel monocled cobra male and he is an adult. Now we actually have a big female coming as well. So this is awesome. We can do a super, super cool breeding project. And this snake right here is native to Asia. It is one of the most common snakes in the venomous snake hobby, but is also one of the most deadly. Now you guys know I have another monocled cobra. I have a sunset albino monocled cobra, which is getting huge. She's a female as well. So maybe one day we'll be able to breed my baby albino with this pastel as well. Robert, you're gonna wanna take a step back because this guy is about to come out. Now you guys can see he's about the same size as the Indian cobra. So we're putting him in the exact same setup. He's gonna be on Aspen with a butter bowl and a log and a hide, and he'll be all good to go. Get this bag out of here. Now he did say he was pretty feisty and he's been being shipped all day long. People have been handling him, passing the box around. Who knows what? They might even be playing hot potato with the box. I don't know. Okay, and I can see his eyes are blue. So he is deep, deep in shed. Now, when you're handling animals that are deep in shed, it is very, very dangerous. But look at this absolutely beautiful snake. Look at this, guys. A pastel monocled cobra. Now, this guy actually has some crazy, crazy colorings on his body. 
But as you can see, if you zoom deep into his eyes, Robert, his eyes are actually a milky blue. Now when a snake's eyes get that milky blue, that means they're about to shed their old skin and come in with a new one. So he's gonna shed any day. Ooh, dog. Look at that, he tried to come back around on me. You can hear him hissing. Monocled cobras are notorious for that hissing. And you guys saw he came right up towards my hand. So I went ahead and I dropped him immediately. Look at that boy, right here, this snake, Earlier today was on the plane. How crazy is that? There's actually snakes being shipped worldwide. All around the world, there's actually snakes on a plane. Woo -hoo. And the spin of this guy, he's probably around, I don't know, almost four feet long. But for a monocle cover, it's pretty dang big. But these guys can get anywhere from six to seven feet in length. Super, super long. Check that out right there, guys. A pastel monocle cover. Let's go get this guy in his new home. This right here is a temporary home. Once this guy gets any bigger, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upgrade him into a new enclosure. Robert, come in here. Check this out. I cannot wait until this guy sheds. All right, everybody. That's how you unbox a monocled cobra. This property is amazing. While we're clearing out debris, we found two little snakes. Now let's see if we can get them here. We already saw a glass lizard yesterday, which is pretty sweet. And now, we found a little pine wood snake. These guys are so small. Look, there they are. There's the little pine woods. Look at him. Beautiful little pine wood snake. A pretty rare snake. And then we also got this little scarlet snake. Look at that. I can tell he's a scarlet snake and not a scarlet king because if you look at his belly, it's a solid white and the bands don't run all the way through. So cute. So what we're going to do, we're not going to keep these guys. So we're just going to let them go underneath my storage shed this is a pretty good place for them to hide they can go under these rocks they can go under these stairs up into those bricks and this little guy i love this as a little home come on dude look at him go you can see he's actually shedding his skin too so there's a lot of moisture under here he'll love that all right let's go baby we got big snakes in this pond boys Big snakes. Ooh, doggy. Come on. Ooh, doggy. Just when you think we're done finding snake stuff on the property, we're taking out this tree stump and have a look at this. Beautiful hatched snake eggs. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. One. We got two. It's amazing where snakes will live and where they'll lay their eggs. Look at this. Just looks like two out. No, we got more. Three, four, five. Should be a regular clutch of about six to eight eggs. Six, and that looks like that's all. Have a go at that, guys. Beautiful, healthy population of snakes here at the facility. All right, guys, check this out. We're over here at the new house. And look at what we pulled out of the weeds on the pond. Can you guess what this is? These are little sirens. Look at these guys. And we've actually got four here in this bucket with this little guy being the smallest one. Look at their gills. Look how cool. Oh my gosh, look at those gills. Crazy purple gills. This is how these amphibians breathe. And if you look, you can see they have two little arms on the front of their body and the rest is a smooth little eel-like body. How cool is that? There must be so many of these guys living in here. All right, now it's time to let them go. And watch this little guy use his arms to crawl away. Pan to the house. This is my new house. This is my new pond and our new snake facility, crock pits, everything is going at this location. Our first task we gotta do today is go get the red-tailed catfish, throw them in this pond, and then start moving everything else. Let's go. All right, boys. We're here in the snake room. We got my two red tail catfish. They're actually red tail and tiger shovel nose hybrids. First, gonna net them real quick. Ooh, look at that. Darkness. Look at that. Oh, take five, take five. Woo, woo. All right, boys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Someone give me a lid. Someone give me a lid. 
Okay, what I say? What's up, Palm Beach Tiki? Damn, <laughs> All right, so we got this red tail shovel nose hybrid up in this container. This guy's gonna go straight from here to our new facility, which is only about 10 minutes away. Now you guys can see this is a 300 gallon enclosure, but these guys have been fighting a lot. This little guy has been getting beat up a lot. And this right here, this is the alpha male. You can see he has some beautiful colors. He's got no scuffs, nothing on his body. This guy, he's got a couple little marks on his body from them fighting, but that'll be all right. These guys are gonna have a perfect, beautiful, amazing home in our new pond. Woo! Look at that fish. Look how beautiful he is. Chee! That on a cracker. To be extremely careful because these fish, they'll jump right out of the bin and they'll also stab you with their barbs on the side of their body. See you at the property. All right, boys, follow me. All right, boys, we just bought this property. One of the very first things we got to do is take down the realtor sign because listen, you don't want to know, all right? Yeah, take that, Donna. Take that, Donna. This house is for sale. No more. Let's go. What about that? Uh, I get it. I get it. Come on. This guy's talking. I got it. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm Let's done. Go, this on the flatbed. Get this junk out of here. Robert, pull that out. What you got to say, Robert? Hey, man, disrespectful of my tribe, man. Put it back on the market. Hey, what are you doing to them fish? Hey! Hey! Hey, what you doing? Hey! <laughs> all right, all right, they're both in here. All right, we're running out of daylight, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go two at once. Make this easy on them. All right, guys. Have fun. Oh! Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, were we supposed to acclimate them or something? No! <laughs> Who, uh, who, uh, no. <laughs> Guys, look at this. The red-tailed catfish. We just saw him at night. 